Now that we have our post previews all set up and also we have this previews and, and next buttons uh, we want to hide this of course we don't want this block to always be visible but we also want it to look pretty so what we want to end up in this episode is with something like this so when I click this I get this overlay right here I get the close button I can close this whenever I want when I click on the post it will show up from the right and so on so this is what we are going to be doing in this episode As you will see this is nothing we haven't done before so I'm going to go a little bit faster in this episode so we are going to be doing practically the same things that we did in the episode when when we were making our filters look prettier so first of all I'm going to create an overlay so it's going to be a transparent black background right here so that this is not fully visible and remember all of the CSS is already written so what I need to do is just uh, add a div called overlay and I'm going to add it at the beginning of my template post list post list template so overlay div we just create it and this is just a fixed div uh, with a background and that's it with a transparent background okay let's refresh the page and now we have our overlay going okay next thing I wanna do I wanna create a close button so I wanna create a close button in our single preview and to do that you just add a button with a class of close button okay and uh, we will just add a HTML entity in it so this is that X that is going to be displayed in that button and of course I didn't spell button correctly okay save it when we refresh the page we are now getting the close button right here of course none of this works right now so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to add some uh, v if statements uh, so that uh, this only shows up when we want it to show up so to how hide our overlay and uh, preview we just do v if equals show and since this is currently set to false or actually that data doesn't even exist if we save this the overlay is gone and we can do the same thing for our post preview so I'm just going to copy this and put it right here okay if we refresh the page now as you can see nothing is showing up of course this doesn't work either so let's amend that by just going to our data first and set show to be false so it is always going to be false uh, when the page is loaded and then we go to our get the post method so remember when we click on any of these posts we are calling this method so this is a good place to do this so we do this set show to true and now when we click on it show is true and then we should be getting our overlay and our post preview let's see if this works okay click on it as you can see our post shows up of course we can't close it yet so this is what we are going to be doing next so to close the post we just go to our app.js and create a method called close post function and then uh, we just set the show to false of course okay we need a comma right here so this set show to false of course this won't work if we don't go to our button right here and say v on click click equals to close post and that should actually be it let's test it out so open the post close the post open the post close the post as you can see this works because we are setting show to be false and then the overlay and our block that is showing the our previews also disappear next thing we are going to be doing is create uh, be creating those transitions 
So since we already got our CSS set up, we can just go to our overlay and set transition equals to overlay show. Okay, save it. Let's test it out. I don't know if you will be able to see this, but if I click on this, as you can see, this slowly shows up. Uh, it doesn't just show up in a second. Okay, so let's do the same thing for the post preview. So we go to single preview and this transition is called post show. Okay, save it. Go to our page and if I click right now, as you can see, this comes from the right side and I can close it and open it and whatever. Uh, those transitions are in this transitions.scss file and this is the post show transitions as you can see at the beginning it has the opacity of 0 and the right is minus 100% and the transitions uh, last uh, 0.5 seconds and the opacity uh, transitions to 1 and also we got this overlay which is just the opacity going from 0 to 1 in one second. Okay, so this is it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to go to the full version of our post uh, via routing and so on. You will see it will be interesting. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel, please subscribe to it. Also, remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. And uh, that's about it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next episode.